share here today's topic the fanatical mind so let's begin uh, following a self-established standard I do believe that I looked at that part last time so we're gonna start with reaction of a fanatic yes that's right um, we're gonna start with reaction of a fanatic so a few years since a man named N I guess she didn't want to mention the name of the person of Red Bluff California came to me to deliver his message. Why California? Why does it seem like it's everywhere in California? All the bad things, well, don't want to say that, but you get the point. It's most likely California. I don't know why, but it's okay. Um, he thought God had passed all the leading workers and given him the message. Okay. I attempted to show him that he was mistaken. When he, when we told him our reason and set the matter before him that he was in error, he had great power come upon him and he suddenly gave a loud cry. Hmm. We had much trouble with him. His mind became unbalanced. And he had to be placed in an insane in the insane asylum. Letter sixteen eighteen ninety three. So apparently, this person, this man, uh, uh, well, this man apparently was not. I guess I would say feeling well after hearing that he was not the messenger. And so I guess that's a good point. You'll see people's reaction when you tell them that they are wrong or they are in the error. Maybe how they react will give you the, I would say the, how would I put that? will give you the truth about their nature. Maybe that's something we need to, to start trying out. Possibly it might work. Okay, let's move on down. How to meet the fanatic. Okay, so of course we're going to have fanatics anyway. So how do we meet them? Not like meaning in the way, but how do we meet with their, remember this is about psychology, We're not meeting up with them in person, but how do we meet them in their mental warfare, basically. God calls upon his servants to study his mind and will. Okay, so apparently in my first video, the very, well, not the video, audio, about the importance of studying the mind, I made a poll about do you think it is it, it is important to study the mind? Well, now we know the, the, the answer is yes. Not just any mind. I mean, you need to understand your mind, that's true. But a funny thing is, God wants us to understand His mind. And will. Hmm. So if you can understand, if you can study God's mind, and there's one way to study God's mind, 
it is in the message of the ta 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 I want you guys to fill in that blank to study God's mind I mean according to me to study God's mind of course you have to go to the Bible what message in the Bible gives us an understanding of God's mind it is the da ta 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 so fill in that little blank I hope I, I hope I know the answer as well but I think I don't know what the answer is but I wanted to know what you guys think of it so let's keep on going then when men come with their curious well when, then when men come with their curiosity invented theories and turn not into controversy with them but affirm what you know it is written is to be your your weapon you know Matthew chapter 4 it is written there are men who will try to spin out their fine threads of false theories thank God that there are those also who have been taught of him and who know what is truth letter 191 1905 so what do we have here Mm, apparently what we have here is Satan has his I would say um, evangelist you know evangelist and God has his evangelist as well so Satan's evangelist also know the Bible don't forget that part they understand the Bible they know the scriptures as well so God's servant or evangelist also needs to also needs to know the Bible within context, of course, of course, because Satan's evangelist will take it things out of context. So we not we need to counteract it with context. So yeah, so in a sense, basically, we need to do that for sure, for sure. But let's keep on going. God expressions and attitude well um, let me see nowadays people always have an attitude is it good nope is it bad yes yes if you hear that there's a car uh, making noise outside but anyways that will not distract us from understanding so the we need to um, and I, I try to tell some of the students uh, about and, and other young kids about oh, how to use their words because many of them have been raised in a time where they think it's okay to just do anything or say anything. I'm like, no, you can't do that. You can't. You just didn't. You don't. Don't. Your attitude, if it's bad, fix it. If it's good, keep it and improve on it basically so this is the time when we need to be very watchful and to guard carefully the character of the work done some will seek to bring in false theories and will come with false messages Satan will stir a human mind to create fanaticism in our ranks we have seen something of this in the year 1908. Hmm. That's 113 years ago. Okay. The Lord desires his people to move carefully, guarding the expression and even the attitude. Satan will use peculiarities of attitude and voice to cause excitement and to work on human minds to deceive letter 12 1909 i would like to know exactly what happened in 1908 now maybe one day i might make a video of that part 1908 because i would like to know exactly what it is that happened so i know what i need to do concerning uh 
the attitude and expression part. But let's keep on going down. So, um, avoid test of human invention. Hmm. New and strange things will continually arise to lead God's people into false excitement, religious revivals, and curious developments. But our people should not be subjected to any test of human invention that will create controversy in any line. Manuscript 167, 1897. Uh, if you've been watching the news, which I actually don't really do, but there was a particular news that I watched, I think it was last year, no, it wasn't last year, it was the year before last year, it was 2019, where people are trying to come together in a supposedly spiritual revival. And it's all about excitement, it's all about the noise, the music. Oh, music. And, um, and yeah, when it gets your feelings going, then you, you will basically believe that the Holy Spirit is there. Now, I, I know for sure it wasn't the Holy Spirit. More likely it was gibberish. And, um, no, okay. I don't think it was gibberish either, but the, it wasn't God's presence, of course. And if it is not God's presence, then it has to be the devil's presence. Yes. Because God is not into that idea of let's lay everything aside and be friends, even though um, you are going the other way. He doesn't do that. So, the same way. When you see people coming together, laying, laying aside Bible truth, then you know God is not in that event. And that's when you see people with different denominations, with different beliefs, coming, suddenly coming together and having a good time because there wasn't any conviction of sin in it. I don't think there was any Bible verse written. Or if there was, it was basically misinterpreted. So everybody could feel good about themselves. So, but we've been having a lot of those nowadays. A bunch of supposedly revivals. Um, but I call them spurious revivals or false revivals. I know some people may not like me anymore now. But it's okay. We're going to finish with this one. Beware of new, wonderful, so-called advanced light. Okay. So, I guess. My soul is much burdened, for I know what is before us. Every conceivable deception will be brought to bear upon those who have not a daily Live in connection with God. Satan's angels are wise to do evil, and they will create that which we that which some will claim to be advanced light and will proclaim it as new and wonderful. Yet, while in some respects the message may be truth, it will be mingled with human inven human, human inventions and would teach for doctrine the commandments of men. If there was ever a time when we should watch and pray in real earnest, it is now. Deception is not about God does not exist or don't keep God's commandments. Deception is about Keep God's commandments, but add that little part to it to make it tastier. That's what it is about. You see? What they say is, the message about the messenger basically said is, the message might actually be true. 
but it is mingled. So once it's mingled with something that is not of God, then it's no longer true. And that's the, when the deception comes in. Mind game. Manipulation. So be watch, be watch, be watching and be watchful about it. Many apparently good or oh, many apparently good things will need to be carefully considered with much prayer, for they are precious devices of the enemy to lead souls in a path which lies so close to the path of truth that it will be scarcely distinguishable from it. Deception is not about saying that God does not exist, nor that the commandments are not to be kept. Deception is about making the lie as close to the truth as it can be. That unless you are truly and thoroughly anchored in Christ, you can detect, detect it. This is why Jesus said Satan will try to, to deceive even, if possible, the elect, which are those that are the closest to Christ. So if you're not close to Christ, then you have some work to do. Honestly. But the eye of faith may discern that it is diverging, though almost imperceptibly, from the right path. At first, it may be thought positively right, but after, after a while, it is seen to be widely divergent from the way which leads to holiness in heaven. My brethren, I warn you to make straight paths for your feet, lest the lame be turned out of the way. So, what do we have? If you think about um, 3.9 and 4, there are oh, 3.99 and 4, basically a two decimal place number, they're pretty close. <laughs> they're pretty close. So what we have is, is the truth is 4 and the lie is 3.99999. And there is that 0 0.0000000001 that you are not going to be deceived. Did you just, did, did you, no, no, hold on, let that sink in. The deception is it looks to be true, therefore it is true. That's the deception. But, I hope that we all get our guards up. Up. So we don't get to that 3.999 part but that point zero 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 one part where we're not deceived anyway guys this was Michelle again I thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to like comment on my Facebook and follow on my Facebook page which is at the open bear TV and of course like and subscribe and hit the bell in my YouTube channel which is also the Open Veil TV. I hope to see you guys soon.
But if I do not see you guys soon, I hope to see you again when Jesus comes the second time. Until then, bye for now. Mother out.